pleasure to talk to all of you guys. You are three of my favorite actors working today. So it's great to get you all <laughs> in you one place. Do you say that to everybody? I, I, I don't yeah. say it to no, I've told you before how much I like you, so you, you know that. Um, I want to begin by asking you guys, because director A.J. Edwards, this is his first feature film as a director, but of course has been Terrence Malick's editor for a long time and worked very closely with Terrence, who is also a producer on the film. Yeah. Did that kind of reassure you guys, working with a first-time director, knowing that, I mean, this guy has been mentored by one of the greatest directors of all time and mm. who's also involved in the project. That sort of reassure you working with AJ? Yeah, yeah of course it does, yeah. Absolutely. You know, you know he's got a, you know, I mean, look, you read the script and you go, well, this reassures me. You know, this is, this, this reads well and I think we can shoot it. I can, you know, I can hopefully do something with this. And then, yeah, you know his work and, and you talk to him and you, you, he's got a huge heart which comes across in this film as well as the skill that goes with it. You know, he's got a, he's got a reason for making it which was very apparent right from the get-go. Mm. How, how important is that f for a director to have a reason for making it? Like oh, I, think it's, I think it's super important whether you're doing, even if you're doing, you know, uh, what do they call them, you know, a reimagining of a film or something, you know, whatever. Reboot, yeah. I think there has to, because that's the thing, that's the energy that's going to drive everybody on that crew right down to, you know, the PAs on set through that story, through this shoot. And um, if you've got one, the fire will burn to the very end. If you don't have one, you know, you're often standing around scratching your head and then fixing it and edit, you know? Yeah. I loved the sort of almost classic 70s film look of the movie. Yeah. Not just the black and white, but the, the, the beautiful overture opening in the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, did you guys have a sense of that when you were making the film? Did you have a sense that that was what AJ was going for? Yeah, he was, um, we both discussed it and you could feel it when you were on the set that the, the style in which this was going to be shot and... Well, they weren't laying um, track, were they? No. There were no cranes <laughs> out there in the woods either. <laughs> no dollars, right, in the woods. <laughs> no, you were running around chasing <laughs> nature and, and chasing moments. And uh, um, it's kind of like what you pictured when you were a kid and you didn't know how they made movies. You thought they just had a camera and they're catching all these great moments. That's kind of what AJ is trying to recreate and I think he did a good job of it. <laughs> uh, Britt, your character is really informed by her religious beliefs. Mm. How did that knowledge of her inform your performance? It was a big deal. I mean, you were saying earlier that you listened to the Bible on tape. I did the same thing because she's illiterate and, and couldn't read, and so I thought I can't just pick up the Bible and read it. That's not the experience she would have had. She would have been hearing these parables, and so I listened to a lot of that on tape. and. And it was really important because I'd never, I'd never read it that text that way before and thought about what kind of person that was, somebody who believed really deeply in all of those stories and for whom But you hear the story. Yeah. I mean, that's the amazing thing. Yeah. You actually hear a story rather than, yeah. okay, this is Matthew, John, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you take yeah. sort of the relig organized religion part out of it and you read it as a collection of narratives and, and the morals and ethics that you have if you believe in those narratives. And, and I think for AJ, it was really important that Nancy have a, you know, a grace and a strength and a, um, a kind of deep faith that um, really came out of, of those stories. So, yeah. When you're doing a piece like this, how much historical research do you guys do into your characters? Or are you just going off of what's in the script and what's laid out for you there? You have to go off the script ultimately. I mean, right. it's, that's the director's prerogative and that's what you know you're doing and you, you have a chat about that and then you know if there's things there that can add to it and, and, and define it and move it around yeah I mean there's not a whole lot written about a lot of our characters I mean I just said last night at the screening you know it, it's not a period that, uh, that he wrote about a lot and there was a small little stanza in a poem that AJ read out you know very bittersweet as he said I think you know about this period in his life and that's what I think is remarkable about what AJ has done, he, he's, he's tried to examine it and, and look at it and meditate on it without dictating to it. Mm. And, you know, so it's, it's, it's heavy on some things and light on, you know, other things. And I think he's, he's found a beautiful, beautiful way of showing, not just for Lincoln, but just for a boy in the woods in that time of, of, of childhood and youth and parents and all that and the land that you're surrounded by, and then, you know, then when we all put two and two together, we go, well, ah, this is what can come of it. Right. Well, it's a beautiful film, and the kind they don't really make that often anymore, so it's no. great. And you, it you great know, I think it's it. really important to sit down. I mean, it's, it's not just a challenge for him to make, but for audiences to go, okay, I, I'm expecting this, this, and this now. We're so programmed to what we expect in a movie. And, you know, half an hour, I mean, shit, where's that, you know, where's that confrontation scene now? Um, 
and if you if you do let it go, it really awakens you, you know, and allows you to imagine. And there's so many, there's, there's, there's such a beautiful benefit of memory mm. in this film and in ourselves, which he touches on. And not many people can do that. Yeah, it's a great job. Great talking to you guys. Thank you yeah. so much.